All right. Damn straight. So, Dos Equis Amber, because that's what we've got. It is amber. Is it just lager? Oh, it's just lager. Maybe green. I don't know how long this has been sitting around. So we're going to give it a swig. If I make that little cringe, it's green. Okay, it's not bad. All right, have a little buck bottle opener slash knife. Yeah, just for the unboxings. We'll try not to cut ourselves. Isn't that right, Ken? Sorry, I don't do unboxings, but we're doing one today. So I'm gonna take my shot at Ken, like everybody else. This is gonna be an awesome unboxing in my opinion, guys. Which Duct tape. This is from our friend Johan Renat from Lumber and Shaver and Butcher, and I believe Frank Stromberg from Wet Shaving and stuff. I'm going to link their channels below. But see, isn't that awesome, guys? Didn't cut myself. Bottle opener slash keychain. Used to keep this with me on the river. Worked really well. That's all I needed it for. Although I wasn't popping bottles open on the river. So I was on the keychain bag. Alright. Yes! International newspaper man. It's awesome. Let's get down to some writing. There we go. Super sweet! Sorry guys. I don't do unboxings. But we are today. So nice. Looks like I got a couple of kismets. That's super sweet, guys, because I don't have a kismet at all. And I hear those are some super sweet blades to get. So we're going to give those a go. More paper. Johan's learning. We got some nuts in here. Some peanuts. He knows how to package internationally. That's what I'm talking about, Johan. Because it, it, it was rather beat, you know. So I'm going to open it up. And pull off some... Uh, I'm just going to pull things out and set them off to the side so I don't keep spilling peanuts everywhere. But this is, this is super awesome. I did not expect this much whatsoever. He said he was going to send me a surprise. And he asked, what soaps don't I have? So it was a very good way to state that finally. Because he asked about brown lick and I'm like, ah, oh, you sent me some. I think he asked about uh, Lager of Sweden. And Maddie sent me some of those. And he knows I've got Haga, and I've got Swedish Witch, so I was just like, he's like, what don't you have? And I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Surprise me. <gasps> Dude. Okay. So Maddie, Maddie sent me some brushes, and I was, I got to keep a few out of them he sent, because I'm a bit of a brush whore. And dude, I got the Frank Designs. Maddie Lindholm Ore Brush. Super sweet! Guys, like, thank you so much. Like, this is awesome. This is the one I wanted most, other than the other one he made, where he takes the top off if it's a boo-boo. That one's got a nice weight, but this is, wow. I got boar. Hey, Ken, we got a boar one. Got a boar brush. All right. Ooh. The Gilded Hand. I'm not going to try to pronounce it how it says right here, but I know it means the Gilded Hand. That's what it means. The Vergolde Hand? I don't know. We're going to smell it. Ooh, you got to pull a little thing. See, what's the date on this? If I remember correctly from watching Johan's video, 1554. Like, that's some old soap, yo. Super sweet. After shave lotion comes with a little thing. That's super awesome. Oh, nice. That's a good clean scent, guys. So you know what I'm probably going to do? I'm going to load from the back. Yeah. Load from the back. Y'all heard it. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. That's really awesome. It's just a good clean scent. That's, that's like all I can tell you. It's like a really nice clean scent. 
All right, we're going to set that over here to the side. Oh, we're going to do a little pig sticker. DR Harris and Company Limited Arlington Shape Ball. You know what? Nice mahogany shape ball. Ken, it's time to do soaps in a motherfucking bowl week. Soaps in a motherfucking bowl week. Dude, this is sweet. I don't have any DR Harris and it comes in a bowl. I've always wanted to get some. I just, you know how it is. You got lists and our lists are so freaking long. It's, it's ridiculous. So thank you guys. Oh, so the scent on this is almond, Arlington, lavender, Marlboro, sandalwood, and Windsor. I get the lavender and sandalwood, but I don't know what Marlboro would smell like. But I don't know if I get the almond. Sorry, guys. I know I'm just sitting here. That's nice. It's really nice. Sweet. Got a soap in a nice little mahogany bowl. Look at it. It's like right there. It's all sealed up for me. That was super nice of Johan and Frank. I mean, I, it's, gosh, I don't even know. I'm like super excited. I got three soaps and a brush. Sweet! So guys, even though I'm just honored and I started this like the DK and I, I'm very happy to get this. I got a feeling I know what this is coming up, and I'm kind of excited. But before we get to it, guys, since y'all, if you've watched this long, I need you to go over to DK's channel. I'll just link a video below, and you tell him Michael J. Fox is a treasure, and you should see many movies he's done. The the lame ass half. What he talked about knowing about Back to the Future or seeing it, just, just no. No. I know you've seen it. It's obvious you've seen it by what you said, but no. No. Go back, rewatch. Not good enough. We're going to put this in the box over here. I'm going to move this stuff over. Not good enough, guys. Not good enough. While you're at it, watch Doc Holliday. That's a good movie. I enjoy that movie. Lord Shady. Doc Holliday, what you say? Yay? Nay? But you know, I go all the way back to uh, Family Ties, Alex P. Keaton. So this is kind of appropriate because Johan announced his raffle winners today. And he donates all the uh, raffle money to um, Michael J. Fox Foundation to cure Parkinson's. So, I guess it's appropriate to be talking about it. But yes, Michael J. Fox is a treasure. Anyways, I'll stop talking about it. You want to talk about number one fanboy of Michael J. Fox? Look at that right here. Yeah. Guys, I'm opening it and I haven't shown you yet because I'm like super stoked. Yes. Well, that? I got the fat, dude. I've never had the fat. Watch me like make a terrible lather with this, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a try. I'm tempted to smell this. See how it goes. So the thing is, I get picked on a little. You get called a Chris Maiden fanboy. Because I kind of am. And, uh, he loves the fat. I think he bought an extra puck and grated it in to fill around the corner so he could fill it all the way up so he didn't have to look at the opening around the edges. Because that's, that's how he do, you know? All right, sweet, dude. Now this is how you package a soap, guys. Like, look, here, let me show you. Let me do this better. This is, sorry, poor ass unboxing. Y'all need to see this. Artisans, take notice. It came wrapped in cellophane, see, wrapped in cellophane, wrapped in this lit in a nice little box that was taped closed. Just not picking on anybody, just saying take notice, man. You open it up, I got a nice little little pad there. Then, oops. You take this out, which is covered. You get a nice little pad in the bottom of that too. This little styrofoam, yeah, very nice. 
Okay. That's a nice scent. Another clean-like scent. I'm going to open it up. I kind of hate to, but I want to make sure I smell it through the paper. A little stopped up, guys. It's been a long day. I literally got home, showered, and turned this phone on and grabbed a beer. Because I was stoked to see this. Oh, that's just a good clean scent. I've never had any idea what it's supposed to smell like. And the guys, that's just going straight in there like that. Sweet. Johan, Frank, thank you guys very much. And as a matter of fact, we're using this brush tonight. Like, yeah, we are. Omega Boar. That's right. Dude. Guys, thank you. I... That's that's like one of the most exciting things you don't even know. I greatly appreciate it. You you got me like all the stuff that like I've been meaning to get that were like sitting in carts and they just kind of get put off. Other than this, this is truly cool. I saw you use this, Johan, so I'm gonna give it a go too. Thank you for sending. Man, that's a fresh clean scent, and not like Derby or Arco. Like it's a good clean masculine scent. It's the only way I can put it. But it it's a clean scent. So guys, thank you, Johan. Thank you, Frank. I'm going to put their channels at the bottom. Um, by the way, don't forget, go tell DK. Watch some Michael J. Fox. He's a freaking national treasure. He's a world treasure. Not just snack, man. Go watch some Michael J. Fox.